Stampeder rookies were back on the field today, and one player to keep an eye on is Ben Diaguilar. Diaguilar impressed the Stampeders at the CFL Combine, and they made him their second pick this year. The defensive lineman had NFL aspirations, but he quickly found out he was just another name down south of the border. So the McMaster grad signed on the dotted line with the Stampeders, and he's happy to be here. Diaguilar certainly isn't short on confidence. He's a clip machine, and he will be highly entertaining for the media and fans alike. Yeah, after I went down in Sautos Lake, I wanted to come up to, you know, a program that chose me by name and not me kind of, you know, hey, may I have an opportunity? These guys are like, hey, you know, come, show us what you got. We like a little bit of what you have and, you know, see what you can offer. It's a little bit more, a little bit more awesome. Well, I guess that, that in itself is almost like a, a wake-up call to how businesses run, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's Seeing the business side was the first thing I saw when I got down there and, a lot of things about allocation and, and draft picks you kind of realize like oh shoot so <laughs> it's definitely nice to come out here in Calgary where you know I was a little bit wanted you, you got to earn your stripes I see definitely that. gotta gotta earn your stripes <laughs> playing with the men it, yeah you, you got to compete always always compete 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 and you can't always be the man on top and every you know everything in life when you hit that next stage you got to work and compete and earn it again he could be a little awesome. The vets and rookies will be back on the field at McMahon on Sunday for the official opening of training camp. Sticking with the Stampeders, they are headed to Lethbridge this weekend to hold their junior stamps camp. The Calgary Stampeders will be in Lethbridge on Saturday, June 1st for the inaugural edition of the Junior Stamps Camp. The club's rookie players, along with offensive lineman John Gott, who grew up in Lethbridge, quarterback Drew Tate, President Gordon Norrie, head coach and general manager John Huffnagel, and it doesn't end there, members of the Outrider Cheer Team, personally my favorite, and Ralph the Dog will be headed to Lethbridge's Community Sports Stadium. The players will meet with 200 youths from the Lethbridge area, including youngsters from Kidsport and members of the Lethbridge minor football program and they will run them through a series of football drills afterwards they will be there will be an autograph session you know summer is around the corner when baseball season starts the Lethbridge Bulls open the Western Major Baseball League season tonight at Spit Stadium against the Medicine Hat Mavericks with just one exhibition under their belt the Bulls will have to adjust on the fly as they host the Okotoks Dogs for a two game set Saturday and Sunday at 7 and 2 p.m. respectively. This year's NHL draft will be one of the most important times in the Flames franchise history. The Flames have three picks in the first round and they have to make them count. Now the top three expected to go in the draft were all there, but Seth Jones, Nathan McKinnon and Jonathan Drouin choose not to take part in the fitness testing. They all had a good reason for it too. You want to take part as much as you can, but um, it's been a while since I've worked out. I'm in game shape right now and I've, uh, I talked to my agent a little bit and, um, and we decided it's best that I opt out of it obviously. Um, you know, it's a tough decision, but uh, I think we made the right one. Obviously, we've, we've been uh, through a lot of hockey lately. We just came back four days ago. It's just, and uh, obviously, we didn't we didn't want to hurt each other. You know, we didn't train a long time, no off-ice stuff, since uh, it's maybe a little bit dangerous to just jump in like that. I just played my last game on Sunday, so uh, I didn't really have time to train or, or do anything to for this. But, you know, my body's still worn down. I've been I've been nursing a couple injuries uh, all year, so uh, I didn't think uh, I, was, I was really prepared, and I had a good talk with uh, my agent about it. and. Uh, he thought the same way. And in the first round, the Flames will have the sixth pick, 22nd, and anywhere between 27th and 30th in this year's NHL entry draft. And Jackie, there is your sports. I like the Flames. The Flames are very warm. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk about something else that's kind of warm and big. A giant asteroid, actually, that's going by planet Earth today. Yeah.